Coming up on Falcon Weekly, find out what prohibited item you'll soon be permitted to take through airport security. Since 2001, those traveling by air have had to exercise more caution when packing their carry-on luggage. Certain items, such as containers of liquids over four ounces in size, like this bottled water, are prohibited past the security checkpoint. In these instances, a TSA official will simply toss the items into the trash. However, items such as pocket knives could raise the suspicion of security and result in additional screening. Starting April 25th, certain items on the list of contraband will be cleared and permitted beyond airport security and onto passenger aircraft. Passengers flying on U.S. flights will be permitted to carry on such items as ski poles, up to two golf clubs, and hockey sticks. Pocket knives with blades less than six centimeters will also be permitted beyond security. The Flight Attendant Union Coalition, which represents 90,000 flight attendants, sees the move differently. The union blasted the announcement, stating it's poor and short-sighted. Flight attendants on U.S. carriers are concerned because they are a flight's first line of defense. It's definitely an issue that we need to focus on. And as a flight crew member, I can definitely say that I think the TSA made a mistake in this choice. The primary fear of permitting pocket knives through security is, of course, the fear of another 9-11 style terrorist attack. But the fear of intoxicated or irate passengers is also of a recurring concern. We do have a lot of irate passengers at times. And then if they just upset with the airline period, Take it out with us. Razor blades and box cutters will still be listed as contraband, as will all containers of liquid over four ounces in size. The allowance of pocket knives comes as the TSA also announced it will be cutting back its frontline workforce staff, meaning security agents, which are at the forefront of security screening. I'm Trent Pickle, reporting for Falcon Weekly.